Finding glycerin-free curly hair products can be next to impossible. A lot of people like to avoid glycerin and their routine because it's known to cause frizz in very humid environments and also in very dry weather. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through a step-by-step -step styling routine using products that are free of glycerin and free of coconut. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina and here we make videos all about naturally curly hair. I love doing simplified step-by-step -step tutorials, talking about the science of hair and really helping you problem solve so that everyone can achieve healthier curls. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I also wanted to give a huge thanks to Boo Clem for partnering with me again here on my channel. They just released their new Seal and Shield range. This is a range of products that is designed without glycerin and without coconut. They contain ingredients such as pea starch, panthenol, and wheat bran, which are supposed to help shield your hair from humidity. They also have really nourishing ingredients in them, such as vitamin E, babasso oil, and kapuka butter, which is supposed to help increase your moisture retention. So let's go ahead and get started with the styling routine. So I've already shampooed my hair and I'm going in with the conditioner from the new Buclem Seal and Shield line. This conditioner does not contain any glycerin, no coconut either. It has a ton of slip for detangling, lots of really moisturizing ingredients. It's a very lightweight conditioner, so I think this is going to be ideal for all hair types it's not going to weigh down your hair i even take it all the way up to the roots so that way i make sure i condition and seal in the cuticles on all of my hair before i fully rinse it out i like to do a little bit of the squish to condition method which is just where you have water and conditioner in your hair and you just kind of scrunch your hair and it helps to really press that conditioner into the inner layers of your hair. Now, typically with glycerin, people like to avoid it in their leave-on products, especially their styling products. So that's why they have the conditioner and then a cream and a gel in this range because things like shampoo, it's not gonna really matter. When it comes to glycerin, it's more about avoiding it in your leave-on products such as your curl cream and especially your gel because that's the last step of your routine. So you would definitely want to avoid glycerin in your gel if you are experiencing frizz from products with glycerin. So the next step is to go in with the Seal and Shield Curl Cream. So this is the curl cream that's part of this collection. It's a pretty lightweight curl cream, but it's very moisturizing. It's similar consistency to the conditioner where I don't think it's gonna weigh down very fine hair. I do find this to be highly moisturizing, which is great considering it doesn't have glycerin in it. So this cream also contains kapuka butter to moisturize and protect against UV rays. I didn't realize that about that ingredient, but but that's really cool. It also contains marula oil to help reduce water loss. I really struggle with moisture retention in my hair because I have higher porosity hair. It really tends to lose moisture very quickly in pretty much all climates, especially in the winter months. It gets very dry even by day two. So I love that these contain ingredients to help lock in moisture. So I'm just applying this all over my hair. I usually use about a nickel size amount and I like to focus it on those really dry areas. So for me, that's usually on the left side of my hair towards the ends. So I usually start there and then I work my way over to the front section on the other side and then apply it everywhere else. I like to comb it through to make sure it's evenly distributed as well. So I wanted to try a different product layering order to see if I could improve my moisture retention in my hair and also help with shine. So I'm actually going to be using an oil on damp hair in between my cream and my gel. I've never tried this technique before, but I wanted to try it out because I've heard great things about this layering technique. I just had never tried an oil on wet hair before. I've always used it at the end of my routine. But this Revive 5 hair oil from Buclem is very lightweight, so it's not gonna weigh down your hair. It's great for layering as well, and it can help with moisture retention and shine. So this contains Moringa oil, Mongongo oil, Daikon seed oil, virgin coconut oil, and olive oil. So keep in mind, this product does contain coconut oil, so if that's something that you were trying to avoid in this routine, just skip the oil. And I was actually surprised how easily it was to apply it to wet hair. It didn't feel like greasy or weighty down or anything. It didn't even feel like I had an oil in my hair. It just felt very moisturized. I did focus this just on the ends and I only used a small amount because I didn't want to overdo it and weigh down my hair or anything with too much oil. So the next step is the Seal and Shield Curl Defining Gel. So I like to section my hair when I apply my gel just for more even coverage. So I'm first going to be applying some to the lower section of my hair. So this gel is also glycerin free. It does not contain coconut either. And like I mentioned, avoiding glycerin and the final product in your routine is probably what's most important. 
So some of the other ingredients in this gel include citrus orange oil, it also contains aloe, and several other natural citrusy essential oils. It also contains babasso oil in a sugar complex, which is supposed to moisturize and repair the hair. And it also has vitamin B5, which they say helps to seal in the cuticle. So perfect ingredients for a gel. This gel gives a medium hold. Personally, I think it gives more of a medium hold, or you could even get a light hold if you don't use too much. I don't find I get a super strong cast with this, but I know a lot of you like that softer look, so you can definitely scrunch it out if you want an even softer look. But for me, it gave a medium hold, and I'll show you how my hair looks at the end too, so you can see the whole level. So I also just did a little bit of brush styling. I wanted to do more of a quick method because I didn't want to clump the curls together too much, and I wanted more of a relaxed look and not too defined. When I got to the top section, I did create a couple brush coils, mainly around the area where I have some grays and some face framing pieces because that really helps increase the longevity of my curls, especially if I'm going to be in very humid weather or very dry weather. Anytime that I have more curl clumps and more definition, that really helps the curls to last longer. And so if I'm in a hurry, I just do this in some problem areas or in some face framing pieces. So after I'm done getting the gel all throughout my hair, I make sure to coat every single hair from root to tip for full protection from frizz. I like to scrunch my hair with a hair towel. I'm using the hair towel from Buclem. I had never tried their towel before but it is so good. It reminds me of like a sheet. It just feels like a t-shirt material. It's a smooth cotton, doesn't cause any frizz. It's very thin and lightweight. So really liked this towel. So it's definitely gonna be one that I'll be using more. But scrunching with a hair towel is going to help reduce your dry time and also help encourage those ringlets. So it just scrunches out the excess water, maybe some excess product too. And if you're worried about it removing too much product, just go in with an extra layer of gel on top or maybe just go over some problem areas. So for me, I usually take some gel, mix it with some water in my hair, Hand and then it makes sure to glaze over those areas that tend to get really frizzy. And that way I have an extra layer of gel which is going to increase my hold. All of the products have an orange and a cinnamon scent and that's due to the essential oils that are in here for scent. So they do contain essential oils. It's a pretty strong scent. So I just wanted to let you all know if you are sensitive to scents, this is definitely a strong scent. I think it smells pretty good. I love a citrus smell and it doesn't bother me, but the scent does stay in your hair by day two. I don't know that I noticed it after three and four, but I can still smell it in my hair on next day hair. It's a citrusy cinnamon scent. So then I diffuse my hair until it's completely dry. I highly recommend diffusing, especially if you're gonna be outside in different weather climates because you don't want your hair to start to absorb moisture or you don't want to be out in dry air. You wanna get your hair completely dry, that way it's fully protected from the weather. So after I'm finished diffusing, you can see the amount of hold that I have in my hair. I definitely have a lot of definition. It feels like a flexible cast. There's definitely a little bit of a cast there, more so in some areas compared to others. I can tell that I have more of a hold in the area where I applied a little bit of extra gel. So that was around the face framing pieces. So you don't want to completely scrunch out the gel cast if you want your hair to last longer. So that's one of the biggest tips that I have. I always do this where if I'm styling at night or if I'm styling and I know I'm gonna be outside, I just don't scrunch out the crunch because that cast is going to protect your hair from frizz. But if you don't like that super defined look and you want a softer look, just kind of fluff from the underside. I usually do this where I just fluff my roots and that really helps to just soften everything up. And then I just gently kind of scrunch around, but I don't go crazy like fluffing and scrunching out every little bit of the cast. You could finish off with some of the oil too if you really wanted to lock some things in and add some extra shine. So here are my final results. The gel cast definitely softened up quite a bit. I still have good definition in my hair, not really any frizz at all, which is great. I have some great shine going on, especially from adding in that oil that definitely helped to increase the shine in my hair. And I got some good shrinkage too. My curls definitely sprung up, so good curl retention with these products as well. My hair doesn't feel weighed down at all. This was the first time I had tried out that layering technique with adding in an oil in between your cream and your gel. And I was surprised that I can't like 
feel the oil in my hair. Like it doesn't feel greasy or weighed down or anything like that. I actually still have pretty good volume in my hair. So I wanted to do an update after about 24 hours. So this is how my hair is looking without any touch-ups, didn't add any product or anything. So I definitely have that softer look. I don't have any cast in my hair right now. It really does just like gradually release, but the more that you touch your hair, the more it's going to release and the more frizz that you could get, the more you're touching it and just going about your day. So I wanted to give you a close-up just to show you. I do have some frizz going on, but overall, all the ringlets are still in place. The curls have not fallen. Also, I always look at the underside layer because for me, this layer tends to fall like when my hair gets dry or when my hair is exposed to like wind and humidity. And I don't feel like that has happened. All the curls are still intact. And if I were to refresh, I would just add a little bit of water. Maybe I would add a little bit of gel just to areas that get a little frizzy. And I definitely feel like I should add some more oil as a finisher just to increase the shine even more or else my hair tends to look very dull as the day goes on. So I think I'm going to try using that Revive 5 hair oil just as a finisher all over to add some more shine to my hair. So if you want to check out the new Seal and Shield line from Buclem, be sure to check out the description box down below. I also have a discount code for Buclem as well, so if you wanted to save some money, I will have that code listed in the description box along with the links to all of the products that I use for this glycerin free wash day routine. So if you enjoyed this video, I think you might also like the one that I did all about how to improve your hair's moisture retention. So if your curls get frizzy and dry out and don't last by day two or even by the end of the day and they just feel so dry and brittle, then you'll definitely want to check that out, especially as we're going into the fall and winter months when the air is a lot drier. I think this one will definitely be helpful for you. So I'll talk to you over there. Bye everyone.